Hey guys, it's Ben and Ewan here from Dreambox. Today we're going to compare two real-time renderers, Onscape and Twinmotion. Now we're going to use the same file in these two real-time real renders. And we've, uh, well, some would say that we should have chosen something like a modern kitchen yeah. or a lounge, but uh, we thought it might be a lot more useful if we used the Jedi Council from Star Wars. We quickly uh, mocked the space up in uh, Rhino 3D, which is our CAD software of choice. So um, because of the design of the room, it was quite quick. Ben worked on the environment, uh, drawing all the pillars and the glass. And then uh, I drew the funky little chairs that all the Jedi Masters sit on. From here, we're going to take the model and we're going to uh, import it into Onscape and Twin Motion, and then compare them against each other directly and, and look at sort of three categories. That's uh, the lighting, um, the assets, and the usability of each program. Okay, so first up, we're going to compare lighting between the two live renderers. So this is Onscape, um, and as you can see with the new 2.6 update, you're getting some pretty amazing results. Um, it's allowed you to create a lot of fog in the scene, a lot more atmospherics. And on the left hand window there, you can see some incredible sort of what they call God rays coming through. Um, and it sort of creates a really dynamic look to the room. You're also seeing some really nice soft shadows across the floor um, and projecting up into the wall there. Uh, yeah, the lighting makes the whole scene look a lot more realistic, even if you compare it to the earlier Onscape releases. Mm -hmm. uh, this is looking really fantastic. Um, you also see the reflections up on the wall there, or up on the window, sorry. Um, and you can see it reflecting the inner room and the lights. Um, and it all contributes to making a, a more realistic scene. Yeah, you can even see here that it's picking up the um, like the sky map and then the, the buildings have been reflected mm. from outside. So yeah, it's Yeah, incredibly it's easy cool. to use and get those results. Yeah. Uh, then we have the same scene in Twin Motion. Um, and right away you can see the look of the scene is a lot more what we'd call gamey. Um, so yeah, what I mean by that is that Twin Motion is um, runs on Unreal Engine, which is a game engine used for video games. Um, and the whole scene looks a little bit more like a video game. Um, it really lacks that dynamic lighting, um, those god rays I was talking about, and a lot of the reflections. Um, However, you're still getting a great result. Um, the weirder things that one of the weirder things that you and I found was these stripy lines across the floor. Um, whether that might just be the the time of day, um, or the uh, the current state of the scene, um, you're starting to get some stripy lines across any of the um, where the sun has basically come through the windows there. Yeah, Not really sure that. what it is there, but I mean, on first impressions, you really are seeing that Onscape is the winner as far as lighting goes, especially with the new 2.6 update. So now we're going to uh, compare the asset management in each of the programs. So here we are in Onscape. Um, so Onscape plugs into Rhino, Revit, Archicad, all these other programs. So all of the materials and geometry are being rendered by Onscape but are being housed in your primary software. So as opposed to Twin Motion, which is more of a complete package where there's a whole library of assets that then that can be dropped drag and dropped into your into your project. So an example of this would be the cars out the window. So um Twin Motion has a traffic sort of feature which you can basically just create paths and then um, apply cars to drive down them. So all of that's done inside Twin Motion, not inside Rhino. And another example is the materials. So looking at these materials, these are all sort of housed by Twin Motion, you know, brushed aluminium, plastic, velvet, whatever the material is that you require. And then you're just dragging them into your into your project and applying them to your geometry. Um, and the result of this is that it's quite easy to get good results for the materials in Twin Motion, but if you want to create your own custom materials, it's a bit more tricky. Twin Motion has this great feature called decals. Uh, so decals are it's sort of a stencil material application. So once you've applied your materials to a surface, you can go in with decals to add a bit of more visual interest. So here's an example of it 
on this wall, which is a sort of stain, water stain mark. So these work really well for just breaking up surfaces. Um, sometimes people who are familiar to you know rendering or arc, arc viz, you can get sort of a tiling effect over a large surface where the texture is just repeating and it doesn't look great because it sort of breaks the, that doesn't really happen in reality. So these sort of marks can be great for hiding that and adding a bit more randomization into your material surfaces. And finally, we want to go through the usability of these programs. Now Onscape, as we've briefly mentioned, uh, plugs directly into your native software that you're using. Whereas Twinmotion, you actually have to export your project into Twinmotion as a standalone piece of software. Now what this means is that uh, when you're picking up something like Onscape, it means that if you know your native software and you're already working in Revit or Rhino or Archicad, um, you really don't have anything more to learn. Um, you can just sort of pick up Onscape, learn a few different buttons and a few different settings and you're away laughing. Um, in Twinmotion, that's a little bit different in that you've got to uh, export it as an FBX or an OBJ into that program um, and then you ha do have a new interface to learn. Uh, so this is in terms of, uh, yeah, you've got your different asset libraries, all the different settings to go. However, uh, in saying that, it is a really easy interface to learn and once you learn the basics, you're going to be putting a scene together really quickly and adding decals and detail uh, in a very efficient manner. Now one other thing to mention about these is the cost. So Onscape comes in with a, a monthly subscription fee, which sits at around $45 a month. So it's not that bad, pretty cheap, um, and it's per user. So that means that for every seat that you have in your office or uh, workplace, you're going to need to be paying $45 a month, um, which is quite reasonable as far as its capabilities and for what it's going to be able to let you do. Um, Twin Motion, in comparison, is big old zero meaning is absolutely free. Um, and I think the initiative behind that is basically to try and get more people using it. Um, Unreal, uh, Twinmotion has recently been purchased by Unreal, um, the game company and the, the engine that the software is built upon. Um, and you're gonna see a lot of development with Twinmotion in the, the coming months, as I can imagine. Um, so they're making it absolutely free at the moment to just get in there and use. So in that regard, if you're new to live, uh, live real-time rendering, uh, Twinmotion is a great one to pick up and give it a go, um, as it's not gonna cost you a thing. Um, yeah, so in conclusion, between uh, looking at the differences between Onscape and Twinmotion, uh, Twinmotion we think is really great for, you know, building a narrative uh, because of its animation and the decals and stuff like that, you can put a lot more, yeah, story into a scene, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. But with Onscape, it's the better quality image. If, if quality is the main reason you want one of these programs, then I think Onscape's the one to go for. Yeah, you, um, yeah. You're going to get a lot more dy dynamic lighting. Your scenes are going to look a lot more real. Um, and the accessibility, as far as using it, is really great. And then yeah. you can export um, execu online executables, meaning that you can give a client a virtual walkthrough and they don't actually need to have Onscape themselves. They can just run it on their computer. Yeah. Um, so that, that's another great feature of Onscape and um, would be a good reason to get that over Twinmotion. Yeah. Um, however, if you're talking in terms of assets and you're wanting to build things really quickly, I could see Twinmotion being a great option too. Yeah. Um, being able to add those things such as decals and... Uh, like you've seen the the animated um, people and vehicles, and people. wind and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. It can really bring a scene to life. Yeah. Um, and although it might not look so real, it does yeah allow you to do more of a story. Yeah. But um yeah, let us know what you think in the comments. Tell us if we've missed anything or if you disagree on any points. And um yeah, it'd be great to hear your feedback. But until next time, cheers. Cheers.